action. Everyone, I have created a training schedule for Rachel to meet with all of you individually at different times. This is for you to go over your tasks and to share any information with Rachel that might help her in our department. Rachel, when you are finished with training, please see me and I will go over a couple things with you. I wanted to discuss ethics with you as it is very important to understand at the professional and personal level. Our company has a code of ethics that you need to read over and completely understand. If you or another coworker ever goes against these rules, it could lead to punishment. If you have any questions on ethics, feel free to ask me. I don't have any questions right now. I'm all set. What is my next step? Now that you are finished with your training, I want to assign you to your first project, just to see what you have learned and what you still need assistance with. I will email you an Excel sheet with some financial information on it. Please go over it, compare the financial strategies, and fill out the rest of the document. Please let me know if you need any help. Rachel uses bounded rationality to choose an alternative to work in the Excel sheet that John assigned her that takes less time. Because of this, she is a bit confused on a couple sections. She sends the Excel sheet back to John and meets him in his office to discuss the project. And this is how you complete this process for this last step. If you don't mind me asking now that we're finished, what made you become a financial analysis? Well, I have always been interested in my finance classes in college. I love the ways you can calculate future values for different investments and predict how they will perform in the future. My father was also a financial analyst, and I loved seeing what he did. Wow, those are the same reasons I became a financial analyst, too. If you were free tomorrow night, I would enjoy having dinner with you to get to know you better. Aw, John, I would love to. John and Rachel's dinner went spectacularly well for the both of them, as they realized they had a lot in common and found a special attraction to one another. This was the first of the couple next dinner dates that the two went on. Back at the office, John accidentally starts to show some favoritism towards Rachel. Wow, you've been doing an amazing job adjusting to this position, Rachel. I'm very impressed. Aw, thank you, John. You're too sweet. Hee <laughs> hee. However, James notices that John is giving more attention to Rachel. He can't help but think something besides a professional friendship is going on. Will James figure out Rachel and John have been going on dates? Will this even be a lot at the office? Stay tuned to find out in the next episode of To Love or Not To Love.